When Ethan and Sarah went into the woods for their quest to find everyone a way to escape and leave this terrifying place that we call Framland, there was a it was a day of interesting events. Okay, there was a lot of interesting events happening on that day. They decided to camp for the night, of course, because of the monsters. And something really interesting happens when they are being dragged around by something that we can't see. Maybe some giant spider or a new creature that we have no idea about. But anyways, we get to see Boyd and Sarah in their tent and they hear a really loud horn and a massive light shines in their direction. And let's assume that it was shined at them accidentally and not intentionally. In the final episode, Boyd starts losing faith in the journey and mentions how Fromland loves to give someone hope and then take it away right before it can be fulfilled. Then Sarah tells him they can't stop now because they have to keep going. And we see something that really shocked me when I first saw it and it was a fucking lighthouse. And, <laughs> and I was like, what the hell is even going on? And it was shining a massive light constantly. It was just spinning and spinning continuously with no end in sight. It really got me thinking about a lot of things like who built this lighthouse? Where did they come from? How much do these people know about Framland itself? And are they the same people who keep blowing the horn? After watching episode one of season two, are these the same people who caught the old man and tied him in the dungeon? Maybe even the dungeon itself is in the lighthouse which mm, yeah it's interesting you know but one thing that made me think was what if the horn isn't saying hey guys i'm human i'm alive you should come here where it's safe but it's actually saying this place is dangerous stay away don't come here don't come to the lighthouse it's interesting to think about it like that and it's very similar to my thoughts about who called Jim on the radio in the final episode of season one. That the guy who called him wasn't trying to be hostile. He was actually being helpful. He was trying to help them by giving them a warning that everything they've been doing at Fromland is gonna mean it's gonna fight back and it could be and how it fights back could be crazier than anything you could ever imagine and there's this other episode where we get a scene where Ethan is with Julie and she tries to tell him a story but surprisingly for the first time ever Ethan refuses and says that he can make his own stories now he says in his story that the characters are now heading for a tower and trying to find their way back home. It's uh, in the same episode that they find the lighthouse. Tabitha has a vision of herself climbing a lighthouse if not the lighthouse and in her vision she sees a bunch of toys that seem to be from all sorts of different eras and times in history and something that really caught my eye is the numbers she saw written on the staircase and <laughs> yeah yeah I know that Jim was hanging from the ceiling and all that but Come on, let's be honest here. I'm way more interested to know about the numbers. We saw the numbers once again in the bottles that Sarah and Boyd find when they were walking through the forest. So we know the numbers, or more specifically, the years written on them are probably going to be very relevant in this story. But what relation does the lighthouse have with the numbers? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. But I'm very interested to see where this all ends up, where everything, how everything is going to be explained. Anyways, tell me your thoughts about this video and tell me your theories about the lighthouse and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.